Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone's doing really, really well. Back to the classic video format in my apartment, just filming with my good camera, but I was inspired to make this video after watching a recent TED talk with Elon Musk. So just last month, I think end of April, there was a 30, 40 minute TED talk interview with Elon Musk and I recommend everyone who's watching this to go check that out. It's pretty quick and you can hear a crazy guy get interviewed. All right, so he talks about some insane project he's working on like 3D highway tunneling system in LA and there's a bunch of other things he's working on. The guy is really insane. I think he's a maniac. I really think he's a maniac, but he's also changing the world. So all the power to him. After seeing the talk and hearing about a lot of buzz in the news recently, the thing I wanted to talk about in this video is the idea that technology, AI, and software are gonna replace humans and human jobs. And that's what a lot of people are talking about recently. So I just wanted to take some time, think about it. Everything in this video is of course just my opinion, but thinking about the future is always a little fun, right? So without further ado, let's just get started. The first thing that I wanna just put out there is that tech replacing jobs will happen. It's just a matter of time. I think 10, 20 years, I believe that self-driving cars, all that stuff, it's gonna replace a ton of taxi drivers and it's just a matter of time until that happens. What will those people do? What kind of jobs are available to these type of people? How many people are gonna be replaced? So in my opinion, the major problem to solve is not how we grow the tech or which direction we grow the tech, but it's how society handles technology coming in and changing things or disrupting things, but I hate that word. So it's how society handles change when tech has more influence in it. Personally, I have a very idealistic way of looking at that problem. So let me just give everyone a background first. The first thing we have to understand is that Computers and humans are fundamentally different and we're good at different things, right? Computers are good at crunching a ton of numbers. Humans are good at telling stories. So because of this fundamental difference, there's just stuff that computers are good at and there's just stuff that humans are good at. So there's a fundamental difference. And because of that difference, I don't think it's really a matter of replacing. I don't think computers can fully replace humans and humans cannot fully replace computers, but they have to work together. They complement each other and that's the strongest way to do it. So it's not a matter of only computers are better than only humans or only humans are better than only computers. It's that computers and humans together are the best. So that's the premise of where I'm coming from. All in all, we have no business doing what computers are good at and we shouldn't even want to do those kind of jobs because as humans, our time can be better spent elsewhere. Let me explain that. Imagine you're a cancer doctor working at a hospital, right? You just got hired, new doctor, or you're a new doctor at this brand new hospital and you have 1,000 new patients. Each of these patients has a history of all these MRI documents that you have to sift through. So as a doctor, you could spend three months looking at tens of thousands of MRI images, or you could give that to a computer for the computer to process. If you have this smart computer vision model that's trained to detect cancer and images, the computer could run through 10,000 images in minutes rather than months and at least give you a baseline baseline recommendation of what to do with those images. Then as a doctor, you take the baseline and then you put your human touch on top of it, right? But you don't spend three months looking at images. So I think everyone's getting the gist of where I'm coming at here, but the jobs that will be replaced, I do think that those are jobs that humans don't want to do and shouldn't do in the first place, all right? so looking at piles and piles of data, sifting through stuff, or just imagine the Chinese factory worker working on the assembly line, right? Assembly line repetitive jobs are perfect examples of jobs that should be replaced, in my opinion. I don't think anybody really enjoys those jobs. Just recently, there was a story of somebody bought something from Walmart. Someone bought a purse from Walmart and inside the purse, they found like a note 
asking for help from a Chinese factory worker. So stuff like that. There are certain set of jobs out there in the world, like factory worker, assembly line, really repetitive jobs that I don't believe humans should do. But in some places it's so cheap that they force humans to do crappy jobs like that. But those are exactly the jobs that computers, the machine should do. So now that we understand types of jobs that computers can potentially replace, like those crappy repetitive jobs sifting through data, let's go about it from the other side. What are jobs that humans have to do and computers can never replace? The one thing that I truly believe, I don't think computers will ever replace human consciousness. And what I mean by consciousness is real, the biology of how we're wired. So I think this is science fiction and this will stay science fiction. Kind of like iRobot or Terminator, computers will never replicate our consciousness. And if that ever happens, if we're ever close to having that happen, I think mother nature will just you know, make this crazy tsunami and wipe us all out because that's, com that's something we shouldn't even try to replicate. Consciousness is being angry, being sad, feeling connected to somebody, comforting your friends, getting mad at your friends, but all of that stuff is innately human and computers will not replicate that stuff. So those things will never be replaced. So if many of the jobs that require highly repetitive tasks are gonna be replaced, like if all assembly line jobs will be replaced, we need to create new jobs that require humans. And those are jobs that require some level of consciousness and those are already scarce. So this is actually what society has as a challenge because we have to put more focus on those human jobs. Like being a teacher, being a high school counselor, like being a coach of a soccer team. A computer is not gonna be the little league soccer coach, right? So those are the type of jobs we have to put more value in and it's already, those jobs are scarce because a lot of people don't want to do them for whatever reason. Like there's not too many good teachers out there. I've never met, I've only met one therapist my whole life. I met a ton of engineers, ton of you know crazy smart people, but the people that I met who've dedicated themselves to helping others, not too many of them. So this is very idealistic, but for all the jobs that a computer should do, like assembly line stuff, those should be replaced. And to complement that, we have to put more focus on jobs that require a human touch. So the assembly line working loses their job because a computer now runs the assembly line, but then we train that assembly worker to maybe be a counselor or to have one-on-one, -on -one, to help someone, maybe go to a school, learn to become a teacher. And that's something only a human can do. So the thing is we have to switch, like switch those jobs. And the jobs that require a lot of human to human interaction, you don't need too many of them. But the thing is we don't put enough value in them. So people don't want to do them in the first place. Let's also just go back to the doctor example. Like take our doctor who needs to work at a new hospital and scrub through thousands and thousands of images. That's not something a doctor should spend their time with. A doctor should let a computer, you know, make predictions on 10,000 MRI images, and that's gonna free the doctor to have more time so she can help, you know, speak to her patients more, get more one-on-one -on -one time with her patients. She should spend all her time doing things that require her to be human and no, no time spent doing computer things. So she should never scrub through endless data. Okay, I'm talking way too much. I need to bring this all back, wrap this all up, but some of the major points that I think, or major points of this video is that we are not gonna stop technology, right? Technology is always moving forward because we have insane people, and also it's just human nature to wanna progress themselves. So tech and you know software and AI and all that stuff, it's gonna keep progressing, and we're not, we shouldn't try to stop it. It's just gonna keep going and society is gonna change as a result of that. So the tech is not the challenge, but the challenging part is how society reacts to that type of change. And I think one of the things we have to do is we have to put more value into jobs that require you to be human. That's probably just like, you know, respect teachers more, pay teachers more, make it more of like an upstanding job. Like 
I really, I've only met one therapist my whole life. You guys have probably seen the news, so many shootings, so many kind of terrible incidents. A lot of people aren't wired that well. A lot of people need help. So a lot of people just, something is going on up here and to fix that, it's really a human to human interaction. Like to fix crazy problems up here, you need that, you need people, you need consciousness, you need like social stuff. So I think we have to put more value into that and funnel more people into those jobs. People shouldn't be working on an assembly line. People should be trained to be therapists so they can just help someone. Overall, people shouldn't do things that computers are good at. Computers should never do things people are good at. We're inherently complementary. People work with computers and that's the best combination. So it's not a matter of replacement. It's just a matter of working together. All right, done.